Hello, everyone. Uh, so Project Quorum is launching on October 1st. Uh, we have, what is it, like seven days or something left now. Uh, if you want to uh, make some edits to the client, now is the time. Um, the Quorum server is not up at the moment, um, but I did test most of these uh, during the little beta period we had this past weekend um, to verify that they do work. Uh, so I figured I would walk you through, uh, walk some of you guys through how to do some of these things. Um, Especially if you're coming from P99, the client is not the same really at all. Uh, and the way you go about doing some things is a little different. Um, not entirely, but some of it is a little bit different. Um, first thing, if you want HD textures, uh, all the links, let me start with that. All the links will be down in the description box below. Uh, if you do want HD character textures, you will need um, a different file than the P99 one. <clears throat> so you can come to the P99 wiki. It's housed here for whatever reason. You click on this Aquaware project version link. You're going to download this and then you're going to unzip it. Um, once you have it unzipped, um, always, always, always backup files. Um, don't at your own risk. Uh, once you have it unzipped, um, you are going to copy all of these um, and just drag them and drop them in your project quorum folder. And that will give you HD textures. Um, that includes uh, character models, um, and it should be uh, texture packs and everything else as well. Um, next is sounds. Uh, everyone hates like the lava storm boom. Everyone hates thunder. Uh, wind canyon wind noises are really annoying. Bag noises are stupid loud for whatever reason. Uh, there is no sound assets file in. Uh, the TechB client, which is what Project Quorum is using, um, to edit or remove some of those sounds. So instead, what you're going to do is you're going to come to this link. Um, there's You're going to have to scroll down a little bit. There's this post uh, by Conable. Uh, you're going to download whichever one of these you want. Um, he has them all kind of describe what they do. None of them change the music. All they, all they do is affect sounds like the ones I just mentioned. You're going to download whichever one you want. Uh, once you have that extracted, you are going to, my cat is going crazy if you can hear that. Uh, once you have all those extracted, you are just going to take these files, uh, control A, and you are just going to, I haven't done this one yet, and you're just gonna drag and drop them. Um, replace them all. It should overwrite the sound files. Shouldn't cause any problems. Um, again, back things up just in case it does. Always back stuff up. Next, we're going to talk about uh, the Luckland Skeletons. I had to go find an image of this uh, to show you guys because I didn't have one pulled up. Um, ignore this wolf. You Unfortunately, at the moment, um, there's no way to get the old skeleton model and the old wolf model. Uh, we haven't quite figured out the wolf model yet. I'm not sure if people are going to be working on that or not. This is what skeletons look like um, in the attack P client. That is, that is what they look like at the time. Uh, kick and lag. Uh, props to Jason from Earth for first starting all the work on this and kick and leg for creating this patcher. Um, previously, the method we had to do this would break a ton of wolf models and make them look like tiny humans. What this does is uh, revert skeletons to the old model. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't really do anything for the wolves, so we're stuck with Luckland Wolves for now. But um, what you're going to do is you're going to download whichever one of these you run on uh, Windows probably. Um, and it will open up once you, uh, not open up, once you, uh, unzip it, you will have this, uh, skeleton patcher. Um, you are going to find these two files right here. Again, please back them up. Um, and I'll, I'll put them on the screen so you know exactly what you're looking for. Um, they are, G equip five. And so all you're going to do, um, I've already done this, but you will just drag it and drop it onto this executable. That is it. Windows might flag it, whatever. More info run anyway. That's it. You're done. Now we are going to look for the global one. Again, back these up just to be safe. Exact same thing. Drag. Drop on this. That's it. It's done. Good job. You have old skeletons now. Next, uh, we're going to talk about mparse. Um, if you 
use Imparse on P99. Uh, it will not, that same version of Imparse will not work with TechP Project Quorum. Uh, the, the log file structure and everything is entirely different. Um, there is no log folder. So it, it won't know where to look um, if you do that. And you'll be missing a ton of maps for Luckland and Planes of Power and some other things. So there is this TACP fork. Uh, you want to download it, um, unzip it, and then put it wherever you want. Uh, when you loot it, when you loot it, when you boot it up, um, there will be two um, options in the little right click dashboard menu. First one, uh, select EQ logs directory. The second one, select EQ character log. Um, the logs directory one, you can just set it to uh, the the main, excuse me, uh, root folder if you want. Um, you don't have to, that's entirely up to you. Um, what you will do when you uh, want to have it look at your character log is you will do the right click, select EQ character log. It will bring up this box right here. Uh, you will need to turn logs on in your INI file or in the game if you haven't already. You are going to select the one you want, and that is it. Um, if it's on the one you want uh, and there are multiple logs, um, pick another one and then come back and just go back to the one you want, and it should automatically update it. Um, and that should be it. You should be good to go for and parse. Now, uh, opening and closing all of your bags. Um, this is super jank. Uh, I am not aware of any other way around it. And it is highly inconvenient, but it is what it is. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change your hot button uh, stuff to the second page. Uh, by default, the command to do that is shift plus the number. So shift plus two will get you onto your second hot button page. What you're going to do is you're going to click and drag your bags onto this hot bar. Uh, it's, it's unfortunately just the way we have to do it. And then from there, it will just be whatever the button assigned is to open the bag. So for me, it will be three, five, six, and seven, because that's where I have them and that's where they are in these slots. And then when I want to close them all, I just hit escape. Um, like I said, unfortunately, that is the only way I'm aware of to do it. There is no key bind or anything like that. So uh, I hope this sets some of you guys up uh, nice and pretty for Quorum. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. We're still trying to figure stuff out. So thanks.